Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's me, Jimmy, of back again with another hit video. Today, uh, we're going to be cooking my specialty uh, French toast. Today, when it comes to ingredients, we've uh, got a second camera here to show that off a little bit better. For ingredients today, we're going to need uh, butter. Uh, I choose butter. All our utensils, a bowl. That's a very important one. Cheese. I've got one egg here. I don't know if that's going to be enough, but you know, we'll probably figure it out along the way. That's kind of how we do things over here at uh, the, the Jimmy Cooking channel. And some bread. I've got whole grain here because, uh, you know, you've got to eat healthy, right? Uh, yeah, let's get started. So what you're going to want to do, you want to take the egg, the bowl, oh, there we go, oh fuck, there we go, okay, yep, that worked out fine. You put the egg in the bowl, now, this is an ancient recipe, it goes back generations, generations, you're going to want to give that a bit of a stir. Oh, that's an egg if I've ever seen one. Get that bit of stir. Don't need to be too, too stirred. Now what I want to do next, now that the egg's done, get some bread out. Now the George Foreman has been preheating itself. Oh, the George Foreman has been preheating itself. Um, it was a bit hot earlier, it was steaming. Roll that clip. Oh no. It's going sh oh, Yeah, so we're gonna... Uh, well, we'll turn it back on now, because we're just gonna have to be quick about this, okay? When I get the butter, now this is what differentiates the Jimmy Specialty French Toast from other French toasts, is um, you butter the bread. I don't know if anyone else does that, but I do. And that's what makes a Jimmy French Toast, we call it a Norman. That's what makes a Norman better. Now, a quick fun fact about why it's called a Norman, and that's because uh, the Normans were the band of French people who took Britain. In my eyes, anyone that gets rid of Britain is better than a normal Frenchman to me. We'll leave that to butter for now, but what we're gonna do, dip that bread into that egg. There we go. French toast. Right onto the George, George Foreman, that is talking out of my ass here, specifically because the George Foreman heats up real quick and I don't want to ruin my gorgeous French toast. Number two in the egg. Now here's where the stirring does help a lot. You see I haven't stirred it much so a lot of the white is sticking on and it won't get even coverage but you know once again what are you gonna do huh? There we go, a couple of Normans. Okay, so now, one of the other ingredients that you're gonna need, and this one's pretty important. You're gonna need a copy of The Art of War by Sun Tzu. Now, this one's important because it's gonna take a little bit of time, and it's really important to read up on your historical literature, especially the kind that allows you to have a better degree of success uh, when it comes to medieval combat or prehistory combat. Here's one. When the position is such that neither side will gain by making the first move, it is called temporizing ground. That's fun. I can see how that might work. In fact, I can see how that might aid in my making of this French toast. Let's have a quick look, see at how our progress is doing. Oh, look at that. A beauty for sure. Now this part is very important because it's what allows us uh, to really step out from the crowd. The butter was one thing, but we've got to, we've got to really try harder here. Over on uh, for Tang Man Reborn, the Sims slash cooking channel. So what you're going to want to do, butter side up, get that cheese, drop it on. It's okay if a little bit falls off, because in the end, we're going to be doing some magic, right? Take it, flip it, 
Now, once again, it's gone a little bit everywhere, but that's fine, because you can just scoop it right back to the middle. Oh my god, it's gone off the George. George, George Foreman, invented the George Foreman grill with his own hands. In a cave, he was uh, abducted by terrorists in the Middle East, and uh, they, they wanted him to build a bomb. But to escape, instead of building a bomb, he created the first ever George Foreman grill. Get that like that. Boom. Nice, cheesy. Oh, look at what's going on here. Ah. And there we have it, folks. I don't have anything to set this on. Oh my god. There we have it, folks. The Norman French toast. Now, fortunately, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I did not have time to actually put in bacon. But I think you can assume that the bacon goes in the middle. What you're going to want to do, what I couldn't do, you cook the bacon beforehand so that your George Foreman, your, your, your frying pan, whatever it is, can be nice and, uh, you know, bacony, oily, that kind of thing. Make it the natural kind of pan prepared kind of a thing. Once you've done that, you put the bacon aside. When you're up to the stage where you would finally plate it, uh, that's when you put in the bacon. Sorry about that, folks. It's a real big mistake on my part. I wholeheartedly apologize. Maybe next time I'll do better. Uh, on that note, uh, leave in the comments what you want me to prepare next. I'm only really good at breakfast food. So, you know, cereals, uh, bacon sausages, french toast, just eggs in general. I'm, I'm quite good at that. Uh, yeah.